Hey, what's up all? Alan here with Damn Good Reviews. Thanks so much for tuning back in. So today we're gonna unbox two different type of battery powered pool vacuums because if you're like me and have one of these either summer waves, Intex, or any pools like this, you probably know that when they give you those filters, they are grossly underestimated. This is almost 8,000 gallons, this pool, and that thing is about half horsepower. It almost generates zero suction power whatsoever, and the vacuum they gave me is one that plugs into the garden hose. Yes, it works, it generates a little bit of suction, but it's probably better for like a little kiddie pool. So, I could upgrade that filter back there, probably gonna be a lot of money, that's gonna be next year's plan, but right now, what is the other solution? Well, I also don't wanna plug anything in, you know, change out the outlets. Let's try something battery powered. So today I have two different battery powered vacuums from the company WaterTech, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look and see what's in the box. So right here behind me, I have the Pool Blaster and the Volt FX8. These are both battery powered vacuum cleaners for the pool. One is a little bit larger. Obviously this one here is for some larger pools and things like that. And then this one is great for the smaller, like the uh, maybe 15 round and under that, or even spas, both use lithium ion batteries. You can see the different power ratings on these and you don't need any hoses, which I really like. You don't need to worry about like how to connect it or anything like that. You charge it up and you could use it you could probably go in with it if you want which i'm going to actually test out but you could put it on you know the pole and vacuum away and i think it lasts over an hour we definitely will check out to see how it works but here we go we're going to take a look and see first what's in the pool blaster max li box first in the box we have our little getting started guide which is great there is a power connector so that's you're not going to plug it in and use it as you vacuum this is going to be plugged in to charge your unit there here we have some a little uh, attachment that's going to plug into the actual vacuum itself you can see on the bottom there what that looks like you got all the different brushes and you got some wheeler rolls so instead of just being brushes right on the liner you do have some wheeler rolls that will help it glide that's really awesome to see it also includes, this looks like a, one of the European connections if you need to use that for any reason. Nothing else there except the actual Pool Blaster. So this is that Pool Blaster Max Li. Kind of reminds me just holding like this, like um, probably like a bigger dust buster type thing, but really nice looking device here, good quality weight. And uh, on the back, oops, that's the filter fill out, but right here on the back, you can connect one of the extension poles. This does not come with the pole, but you can easily do that. Or like I said, I'm just gonna go in and show you underwater, kind of like how this sucks up once it's all charged. So that's pretty cool. And then right here on the front, that's the filter. And I'm guessing without reading it, it's probably gonna go something like that and then that plugs onto the head. So let me just go ahead, set that up real quick. So just set it in place. It clicks right in place there, so it's not going anywhere. It's gonna go into that filter. And then what's the next part of this? I'm gonna plug that right in. Everything just snaps in place. How awesome is that? It will tilt however you need it to. And underwater, I mean, it's got some weight to it, but underwater, this should be really easy to do either by yourself, by hand, or if you want to put it on one of the extender poles. So pretty cool there. Let's see. Let's see if there's any power in this. A lot of times there's probably not. There, there is. All right. I don't want to run it too much because probably you need water running through it because you don't want to burn it out, but there is power. I'm going to charge it up all the way. So that's the pool blaster max li what's in the box. Again, this is great for some of the smaller pools and spas. So we're gonna charge that up. It's still a really good size. All right, so right here, we're gonna check out the Volt FX8, which is actually the bigger unit. So if you wanna use this on some of the bigger pools, bigger spas, you can even use it on some, you know, some of the in-ground pools. I think they say it lasts up to an hour with a full charge, that's pretty cool. And um, again, this is bigger, so you're gonna be able to uh, probably get more suction power than what the Pool Blaster Max will do, but we're gonna test out both, see how they run. And also one thing I didn't mention on this one here is that head is flexible, it's not hard. So that's gonna be great going up the walls and curving because some of the other ones that you get, they're totally hard and then you end up losing suction power because it tries to bend up the wall and doesn't work. So let's see what's in this box of the FX8. So first we have the little getting started guide there. Also a head that has that flexible 
top to it there. Pretty cool, so it can bend and flex any which way. You got your brushes and rollers on the bottom. Have another little filter uh, right here. So a little mesh filter, looks like that sits in line there. That's gonna connect to the actual vacuum. Have our power supply for charging everything up. A little European adapter, which is always nice. Just in case you say, you know what? I'm going to Europe, but I'm gonna bring my either my pool blaster or the FX8 with me, and then you can totally do that. So before I show you the unit itself, this one does come with a vacuum hose. So we get this vacuum hose with it there. Ooh, I like this. So why it includes that hose is because it's almost like an accessory attachment and you can see that accessory there. So this is probably really good for like the spas to get in like all those nooks and crannies when you need to. So you have that option with that, that's really cool. And then we have the Volt FX8 unit, it's a gray unit. We also have that other inline filter there so when you get it all plugged in and ready to go. And then if I go ahead, let's see, you have two different filter options it looks like. So we have this filter, or we have a mesh filter, depending on what you're gonna be using it for. It looks like you can swap them out. Let me go ahead, put that in there. Oh, it'd be good if I did it the right way, that'd be helpful. So it all does just slides down right in place and clicks in place, then it's all set up. Same idea as the other one, and you are set to go. So give you an idea of kind of what they look like together this one is definitely larger so you're going to use this for some bigger pools i think this is going to be the way to go for the pool that i have which is 8,000 gallons so you can probably do that so i'm really looking forward to charging both of these up and seeing how they run and perform cleaning the pools and then also here on the back you do have the attachment so it doesn't include the metal pole with it but you can easily do that again if you have this in the water it's not gonna be that heavy to move around anything like that outside of the water it's probably around 10 pounds or so both of them close that eight pounds ten pounds um, but still nice design to it good quality and underwater I don't see it's gonna be a, a real problem at all and uh, there you have it so that's the WaterTech FX8 battery powered vacuum what's in the box as well as the pool blaster max li so I'm gonna go ahead and charge these up make sure you look for that review and demo video of how these actually work and perform to see if they're right for you but otherwise thanks so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe right here click that little bell icon to stay up to date with everything I do and I'll see you in my next video